Oh my gosh, are you seriously wearing the same sweatshirt in a different video? It's almost like you're recording them back to back. Alright, how's it going everybody? So in this video we're going to talk about how to give great advice to your teammates. So I know a thing or two about this because I'm the captain of my varsity team as a junior. And a lot of times teammates come to me with you know questions that I have a hard time answering and so I have a general guide on how I give advice to my teammates. Now, whenever I make these videos, I don't think of myself talking to a camera. I think of myself talking to one of my teammates in front of me. So I think, okay, how can I help the person watching this video the most right now? And that's what I try to achieve. So, I have like, how many of this? One, two, three, four. I, th I have five talking points in this video. So... The first thing I want to talk about, the first piece of advice, is listen to your teammates with your full, undivided attention and try to understand them. If you can understand what your teammates are trying to tell you or what they say to you or what their problems are and you have empathy, you won't have any problems giving them advice because you know them inside out, right? You've been with them through thick and thin and you guys are brothers. So you got to treat your teammates with the utmost respect and listen to every word that they say. Unless they're messing with you, then, you know. <laughs> but uh, the next piece of advice I have for you is to be open-minded. See, a lot of times we can be very stubborn in our own ways and think that there's only one way to do things when that's really not true. Some things that work for me may not work for you. So understand your teammates like I said earlier but realize that you two like if if you have a teammate right here and you're right here and you're talking you two are different he's all the way over here while you're all the way over here on the spectrum of you know how to get better or this that and the other so be open-minded next up don't allow excuses this goes both ways don't allow excuses from yourself and don't allow excuses from others. You can't allow yourself to have excuses and then deny others. You have to make sure that you account for yourself as well. As a leader of any basketball team, you need to set the example. So be a positive, strong example. Every team needs a strong leader. So maybe you can fill that role. Let's see, what do we got next? Know how to motivate your teammates individually. So this kind of ties into the idea before of understanding your teammates and listening to them fully. But I made a separate topic for this because I believe it's so important. You, If you're writing notes on this video, I would say circle it, put a star next to it, highlight it, do what you got to do. Motivating your teammates is one of the most important aspects of being a leader of your team. It can get your teammates through tough games or after a hard loss. But look, everybody gets motivated differently. So you got to be able to find which buttons to push. See, for me, if I were to think of what motivates me, it would be the idea of not living up to my full potential. So if somebody were to be in the gym with me and I'm trying to like push through another rep of the bench press or something and somebody says to me, you know, if you don't get this rep, you're not going to live up to your full potential or get this rep and you'll live up to your full potential, I would push that weight, man. That's something that gets me going in the gym or whatever. I'm in a basketball game, living up to my full potential. So that's for me. So if you were giving advice to me, what would you say? If I said, hey, man, I've been having a rough game recently, or rough games recently, and my shot's been off, do you have any advice? You could say to them, look, man, I know this ain't you right now. You need to push in the gym, push harder, because I want you to reach your full potential. That's that, and that would be the best advice I've ever received. All right, finally, you got to get your teammates out of their own head. A lot of times we think, oh, my gosh, did I just miss my last three shots? Oh, my percentage is down, and oh, no, the coach is going to sit me. Get the, your teammates out of their head, right? And the simplest way to do that is to just say to them, hey, bro, breathe. I do that to my teammates a lot. Like I'll have like I'll tap them on the shoulder, I'll hold their shoulder and just be like, Alright man, do three deep breaths, ready? And I just do that with them. 
because you got to relate to them and be on their level too as a leader. You can't act like you're above anybody and then no, because nobody will respect you, right? I mean, we've seen it in history. Whatever happened to King George, <laughs> right? The Americans, well, we rebelled against him and then we won the Revolutionary War, right? I Don't be a dictator out there. Nobody likes a dictator on the basketball court. Be a leader, not a dictator. The biggest factor that comes into play as a leader is empathy. A good leader leads by example and does the hard work and pushes his teammates. But a great one does that and has empathy for his teammates. He's able to put himself in other people's shoes and get to the root of the problem and solve it. As a leader, it is your job to stay strong and stay like a rock when things get tough. But also, it is also your job to know your teammates on and off the court. Try your best to be friends with all your teammates. I know it's impossible, but some teammates don't mesh. But try your best, okay? Understand everybody. Try to put yourself in their shoes and treat them like brothers. Because that's what you are for four years if you're in high school or three years if you're in middle school. You're brothers for that short amount of time. And if you want to keep those relationships after high school, great, keep them. But for this amount of time, they are the most important people in your lives. They are your teammates. They are your brothers. You guys are going to war together. So act like it. All right, man, I hope this helped you. Thank you for watching. I made countless other videos on basketball, so go check those out. As always, keep God first. Good luck.